All right, so today we're going to add some computers to Monero. Um, as you can see, my pies are going, earning that whopping one cent a day. So I got some i5 computers downstairs, and I also have a Z600 computer downstairs. And they're not doing anything, so I figured, you know, what the hell. Just add them to this um, mining right here. Um, you know, I know it's not gonna make any money because of electricity and stuff like that but i'm bored and it just gives me something to do all right so the first thing we want to do is we'll just go over here to like our debian and we'll go ahead and we'll download that linux so once that's um downloaded then we'll open up um Etcher. Now, you guys can use like Rufus or you can <clears throat> use um, any different imaging. Um, I've just happened to use Etcher. So, what we want to do is we want to select the image. And then, when we select the image, and you know, I had this downloaded from last week, so I'm just going to select this one um, and hit open. And then, we'll just really easily, what we'll end up doing is we'll end up um, selecting the target. I just plugged into a USB, but if I <clears throat> want to change it, I can. This is my USB drive, has a green, we're good. And then when I'm done, I just hit flash, and then it starts the flash process. I already have this flash on a USB, so, you know, I'm not going to sit there and flash this one right here. Um, but I am going to go down and put a couple of these computers back together and uh, start the process. It's a big mess. So I got all these old computers, a bunch of spare parts, another computer over there. Got my servers and other computers over there. So what I'm going to end up doing is just um, cleaning all this up. And I guess I'll um, use these as old, you know, CPU miners for the hell of it. Um, you know, just for giggles. I know I'm not going to make any money. I'm just doing it just because I'm bored. And then, you know, we got extra hard drives, we got extra RAM, you know, more hard drives. So let's go ahead and put these together and then see what we can um, make out of them. All right, so I got my old machine up here. I got like two processors, it's a Z600. And then um, I got the, I put a graphic card in there and then I put my two hard drives in this. So let's see what this bad boy can do. So this is an old i5. Threw some RAM in there. Video card, got my hard drives in. So we'll fire this one up and see what it can do. And this is the same thing. This is just my other i5. A little bit less RAM and some smaller hard drives. But you know what? Let's do it. All right. So we got all three of these hooked up. And then we'll go ahead and install um, Debian on them. All right, so this is going to be pretty uh, quick. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over the um, process. Um, <clears throat> and it's just going to be kind of a series of um, screenshots to get you through this for we don't have to wait. So the first thing we want to do is hit the install. And then we're going to work quick, select English. And then we're going to end up selecting United States. And now we're just going to wait for the small install. All right. So here we set the host name for we can identify it on the network. I have my XM rig I5 for this one. And that way I know which one it is when I remote into it. It's just kind of an easy reference. Plus it's unique on my network, which is required. All right. So right here is where we put the root password. If you want to, you can set it here. Um, here we'll put in the full name of the user and then um, we can set the password for the user then this way we don't have to set up a root account so if you didn't set up the root account um, this password will be used for your pseudo um, as well off that main account that you're in because it would be in your pseudo group all right so here we'll just go ahead and set the region that you're in all right so here we're going to select how we want to set this up i'm going to use the entire disk then we're going to select the drive. I actually chose the 250 gigabyte, the smaller drive. And then here, all the files in one partition is what I chose. 
And then here, just a warning for the petition, I said yes. And then we have up here, we're just going to finish the petition to the disks. And then just confirm, we're just going to say yes. And then we're going to go on and then wait for the install to uh, complete. All right, so here we're going to set there and configure the package manager to the United States. Um, here, it's going to select what location that you want to download the packages from. Then we're going to configure, I don't have a proxy, so I'm just going to hit enter. And then it's going to go through and actually install the um, software. And then, you know, again, I'm just going to say no for the um, popularity contest. And then here, just select SSH server and standard because we don't want a GUI. And then it's going to install. And then uh, once that's done, we're going to wait a little bit longer to <clears throat> for to finish installing the Grub. Then once we finish, we just hit continue. And then once we're done, it just reboots the system. And then we can go back upstairs and then um, log in to it uh, via SSH. All right, so now that we got everything set up, what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna remote into this. So we're gonna do the SSH, your username, and the IP address that um, your local network's on. So next, we're gonna have to input our password. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then once we're in, and I'm gonna blow this up just you know a little bit bigger if you guys can see, and I'm gonna clear it. And then what we're gonna end up doing is we wanna make sure that our system is updated. So we're gonna set there and run the update. Now, you guys that saw the video um, when um, we installed XM Rig on the Raspberry Pi, it's really the same step. So if you want to skip ahead, um, you know, to see the final results, um, go ahead and do that. Uh, but the people who wants to stay with me, we're just going to go over that section again, just make sure that um, everybody has that. And then, um, you know, we'll get on with the video okay invalid oh I put two and symbols um, no that should be right sudo apt oh I see what I did I put um, update right up there so <clears throat> I I was talking I said updated but yeah just update so once that's up then we'll just make sure that um, we have a full upgrade option. Then we'll go ahead and set there and run that. And then next, um, I'm gonna, going to copy and paste this right up here just to get, make sure we have our build essentials and everything in there, like in CMake and everything. So we'll just go ahead and run that. And all that's going to um, install and then it should go by a lot faster like on this because it's you know an i5 versus a raspberry pi so it'll just keep on going but um when we're done we'll go ahead and um come back all right so now that that's done the next thing we're going to end up wanting to do is to go to the git look i go to the git and then clone the github repo and we'll just go ahead and clone that down. And then um, I'm gonna clear this just to bring everything up on the top of the screen. All right, so once we're here, we'll go ahead and we'll um, make a um, directory. Actually, what we need to do is we need to go into the CD XM rig, and then we'll make the directory build then we'll go into the build then we'll do cmake to prep it all right so once that's done what we're going to end up doing is we are going to run just make and then um you know we'll go on from there and once that's done we'll um, be back Alright, so now that it's um, built, 
what we're going to end up doing is just go to CD to bring it back to the beginning. Then I'm going to do um, no hub, and then I'm going to do the XMEC build, call it, and I'm going to use the Monero um, pool. And then this is my wallet information over here. And then um, this is the process that we're running right here. And then <clears throat> what I need to show you, let me scroll back down here a little bit if you can see more of the screen. Um, and then down here is what I called it for Monero pick it up. And then right here is its and symbol, lets it run in the background. And then there's 4124 is the process. So to get a better look at that, what we can do, and I'm going to clear this, is I'm going to set there and do PSAUX. And then this is all the processes are running. And if you notice, right here is that dot .xmec build right here. So I know that process is running. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to do this off screen, but I'm going to do it three more times um, for the other computers. Actually, two more times. I got two more computers. But anyway, I'm going to sit there and do that two more times. And then we're going to go back and uh, look at the hash rate values of each. All right. So here we are at our Z600. And what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to go back to the root right here. And I'm going to put this in there, but I'm not going to do the no hub and I'm not going to do the and ampersand at the end. And I'm just going to run this. <clears throat> and this will show you that this one here is I'm running my 64 bit um, Xeons. And right here, it'll just tell you that um, everything's working. Some of these are like rejected. And then here we are going in here to the, the accept it. And then we got the new job, you know, going down here. So we'll go ahead and let this run and see how well this does. And then we'll go back and look overall how well we're doing in general. All right. So you see that we're earning a whopping 14 cents a day. Not bad. But, you know, again, with electric cost, um, we're just doing this for fun. So if you look at it, my I3s are bringing in like 1.56 at 1 I. 7 um, KHS and then the um, 7600 is taking a 2.72 so we are getting some better hash rates up here and that's what's bringing us to 14 cents um, again you know we're doing this for fun um, if you have something better to mine besides Monero um, off the CPUs and again the Zelda system um, I like to hear about it so just put that in the comments below thanks